I was on a camping weekend with my family and I noticed I was having trouble walking. I was feeling very dizzy and out of breath. We came home, I never really got better and I was able to get into the doctor uh, within the hour. He ran a blood test on me and he found out that my hematocrit level was at nine. Normal people have about anywhere from like 38 to 40. They rushed me by ambulance to the hospital. They ran a bunch of tests, blood tests, all kinds of tests to search for any infections. They did a bone marrow biopsy and the results of the bone marrow biopsy showed that I had a deleted gene on one of my chromosomes. And so they thought that that probably is what was causing the MDS, but they didn't know how I got that deleted gene. In talking with the doctors, they felt that I should do chemo and go for the bone marrow transplant. And in my case, I would only have a 35 to 40% survival rate that I would survive the transplant and only a 50% chance that the transplant would even work. I decided to do the chemotherapy. So I started doing the chemotherapy. That put me in the hospital three different times. The last time I was in the hospital, I almost died. At that point, I decided to stop the chemotherapy and I came home. While I stopped the chemo, I was still on seven different medications. I went to see um, Dr. Henson through vitamin infusions and, I, and my other treatments, the blast counts in my blood had gone from 7% to zero. And so she brought me out of this chemo fog that I was in, where I was barely living, barely alive, to a point now where I feel like I'm thriving. I'm able to take care of my family. I'm able to you know, go on hikes and walks. A doctor told me that if I stopped the chemo and didn't do the bone marrow transplant, I would die in a year and that was a year and a half ago. And I feel the strongest I've ever been.